Right now, let's head over to the Weather Center and check in once again with Storm Tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith. Loving the idea of this warm off, but I'm not going to warm up. I mean, to say, I have to admit, I'm going to miss the cold weather. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Chris, it'll be back at some point. We're, of course, we're heading into the end of October, November, December. But, you know, this is that time of year where one day it's in the 20s and the next morning or the next day we're back to near 80. And that's exactly the temperature roller coaster we're on right now. This morning on the Way 31 Sky Cab Network, we've got temperatures in the mid 30s, most spots. But some of those cooler spots are indeed near freezing, like Decatur, where it's 32. Plenty of sunshine to go around, but in general, compared to this time 24 hours ago, we are a bit warmer. Not seeing a widespread freeze or frost out there. You notice the shoals about 7 degrees warmer. How about Coleman and Haleyville? 13 and 17 degrees warmer compared to this time on Thursday morning. Still need those heavy jackets heading out the door, but the way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network will stay nice and quiet. Plenty of sunshine to go around and those seasonable temperatures are on the comeback. We'll range from 72 to 74 for that forecast high. Our average for October 21st, 75. So a pretty typical late October day. Big game Friday night. We'll call it a touchdown forecast. Kickoff temperature 62. Halftime we're down to 59. 55 degrees by the fourth quarter. So you'll need those jackets. Maybe a blanket if you're heading out to any of those high school football stadiums tonight. But good old fashioned football weather. This should be a great night for those high school games around town. How about raking the leaves out of the yard over this weekend? Should be just fine as well. We mentioned this a bit yesterday. The wind has switched directions. Now coming out of the south South and southwest, and that's a big reason why we're back to near 80 degrees before the weekend is over. Staying dry today, staying dry tomorrow, also staying dry for your Sunday, but those rain chances are back next week. Until then, here's future radar. Plenty of sunshine, mid 70s for most, maybe a little cooler in the higher terrain, but still nice in the low 70s. When you wake up Saturday morning, you'll notice a bit more cloud cover around and we'll keep that cloud cover throughout the day tomorrow. A good bit of sunshine too, but if it looks a bit gloomy at times tomorrow, that's the reason why it's going to stay dry though. No need to cancel any Saturday plans by any means, and that cloud cover will start to move out Saturday night and early Sunday. Here comes our next weather maker. This arrives in the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Exactly when that remains to be seen. This particular forecast model is right in the middle. Tuesday night, we'll start to see those showers moving into northwest Alabama directly along that cold front, and that front will pass through north Alabama Tuesday night through the first half of your Wednesday, and as it does so, we'll start to dry things out just a bit. There's not much moisture with that cold front, so we won't see much rain, and that means our drought conditions, unfortunately, will continue to worsen. But as you look at that seven day four, Forecast. Hey, at least we've got sunshine and temperatures for the nice temperatures. That is for the weekend 77 tomorrow, 78 Sunday back to near 80 by Monday before we cool back down to near 70 by next Thursday. Chris.